Since the beginning of the pandemic, KDKA Investigates has uncovered several types of COVID relief fraud, from questionable paycheck protection loans to inmates getting pandemic unemployment assistance. And now that Pennsylvania is in line for more than $10 billion in new COVID relief, can that fraud be reined in? Here is KDK investigator Andy Sheehan. Well, as we've shown you, the fraud in COVID relief has run rampant. But now the state's top fiscal watchdog wants new safeguards in place to make sure this new funding is properly spent. Randy Frasinelli of Carnegie stands accused of bilking the Paycheck Protection Program to the tune of $3.8 million. Federal prosecutors say he claimed business expenses but lavished the money on luxury. Mercedes SUVs, a BMW, a Porsche, gold bars and jewelry, and tuition for his family. On a smaller scale, we found dozens of questionable PPP loans going to some apparently non-existent businesses in Braddock, each receiving the maximum of $20,000 for people claiming to be sole proprietors. If there weren't enough safeguards in place prior to the loans being, being awarded. And as a result, the federal government estimated that hundreds of millions of dollars were in fact lost due to fraud. Today, Auditor General Timothy DeFour cited the rampant fraud in the distribution of PPP, calling for tighter control of the next big round of COVID relief funding. And we need transparency, oversight, and accountability. Ours and federal investigations found this was not the case with PPP. In its report, the inspector general said trying to get the money quickly from the small business administrations to businesses who needed it opened up the door to fraud and estimates that 55,000 loans have gone to potentially ineligible businesses. Quote, the SBA's efforts to hurry capital to businesses were at the expense of controls that could have reduced the likelihood of ineligible or fraudulent businesses obtaining a PPP loan. As a result, there is limited assurances that loans went to only eligible recipients. DeFore says under the rescue plan, the state and local government should take the time and implement safeguards to ensure the money is not misspent or wasted. He's proposing a public-private partnership of accountants and investigators to oversee the allocations. You are never going to stop fraud, and that's just a reality. However, by having the proper processes in place, you can definitely mitigate it. We, however, are continuing to uncover cases of questionable spending and will continue to expose them in hopes of those tighter controls. Reporting on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.